Don't walk down the street and lock eyes and smile at a stranger. It's a good way to get beat up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it has been a minute since I have posted anything and um, I'm really excited to finally be in a place where I can make a video. I've been traveling like crazy uh, this year so far. It's been great, but I'm really happy to sit down for a second and, and do a video. So th today I'm gonna be talking about something that I've wanted to talk about for a long time and it's something I get asked all the time about really, and that is career advice. So. I wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I think have really helped me in my career. Uh, not that I have the best career in the world and there's definitely so much more that I want to do, but I think that there are some things that I have found that work for me as well as a lot of other people. So I'm excited to share those things with you guys today. Without any further delay, let's get started. Number six, have a burning desire. What I find is behind a lot of successful careers is a burning desire. And that's really the ability to want something so bad that the amount of suffering it takes to achieve it is just irrelevant in the joy of walking the journey to achieve that thing that you want. So Napoleon Hill talked about this, I think back in the 1930s. He studied uh, people like Rockefeller and Ford and tried to find out what the commonality was between them. And he decided that, or he determined that the number one driving force behind these big titans of America was a burning desire. They wanted to see something happen so bad that it didn't matter what it took. And I think that is a really key factor in having a really successful career. Number five, gain a geographic advantage. Be in the location that the work and people you wanna work with are located. This is gonna involve some risk. You might have to move. It may be difficult if you wanna work with A-list celebrities if you live in North Dakota and they all live in the coasts. So keep that in mind that if you have a vision set out for the career you want, be in the location where the people on that path are living. Number four, massive levels of persistence. There's an old saying that goes, no one became a great sailor on calm seas. Now, the dictionary definition of perseverance is persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. I have dear friends who disagree with me on this, but I believe suffering is a necessary component to massive achievement. Now, I don't mean unnecessary suffering, I just mean the pain that naturally accompanies maximum effort. You can accomplish good things and you can accomplish mediocre things with very little suffering and very little strife. But if you're looking to achieve top of your industry success, if you want to be the very, very top in the world, it's going to take some suffering and some serious sacrifice. So here's my formula. By the way, it's not mine, it's thousands of years old. Be joyful while suffering because suffering produces perseverance. I'll explain it like this. You first have to suffer 100 push-ups before you suffer 101. But as long as you are continually pushing your maximum ability, you will always be at the cusp of difficulty and suffering, and that will continue to grow you into greater, greater levels of achievement. Number three, have a secret weapon. I think every beauty professional should have a secret weapon. And what I mean by secret weapon is the one thing that makes you unique and special. What do you do differently than everyone else? This is gonna help separate you from the competition. It'll also make opportunity easier to find. And it will be much easier to align yourself in the right positions, in the right places, when you know what you do best. Number two, mentorship. So if life is a series of choices, and a good life a series of good choices, and good choices are made by having wise advisors, mentors, then who will be your mentor? Without mentors, you'll just be rolling the dice on all of your career decisions. And number one, build a powerful network. If you don't have a network, you won't have a career. So here's a small tip for building a network. Treat everyone everywhere you go with the same level of respect and interest. Then take massive action toward aligning your life and building relationships who are with people who are on the same path as you. People with shared values people with similar career goals. Then diversify your relationships. Make sure that you're not just hanging out with a few people who are, who are ahead of you. You'll also want to have relationships that you're investing into. Have relationships where part of your network is sewing into you, mentors. Have relationships where there's a mutual investment 
and then have some relationships where you are really making the major investment into another person. I mean, after all, you never know if your assistant's gonna be the next Kim Kardashian. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. If I forgot something, or if you have any comments, or if you disagree, go ahead and comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you found the video useful and you liked it, go ahead and click like. Also, if you are interested in um, beauty careers, hairstyling, I'm, I'm sure we'll do much, much more than hairstyling on this channel. Um, but if you're interested in anything in the beauty industry and a hair and beauty career, go ahead and click subscribe. So until next time, guys, cheers. Ciao.